What's crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new player of the week, right? So finally, we can see here that form is back. So you can see a couple of the players here. And obviously when you go in here and you filter by live update rating, you will see all the players on A and B rating, okay? So it is back. A lot of people were asking about that, obviously when it would come back and it is tied to the season. So that makes sense. So any of the players, any of the player of the weeks, anything like that are going to be on A rating. Um, as you see there, all the players that are on A and B there, okay? So Bellingham is there, any player that is a player of the week, okay? So that was that is what our... Um, video is going to be about today. It is going to be about the player of the weeks. Now, these players, if you are a newcomer or if you've been playing for a while, these have no training points required. These are basically what you see is what you get. They are versions of the cards that you don't need to train up. They're just exactly as they are here. So we have got 11 players here. You've only got three spins at it and your free spins, so four in total. Um, but you do get with the event that you can play. You've got Bellingham, Rodri, Isaac, Vanderson, uh, Dikabi, Daku, Saka, Kunde, Leno, Estupinian, and Bourgeois. Bourgeois. So Bourgeois is 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 quite is kind of a player that I would like to get. Um, I probably will spin for these because they're the first uh players of the player of the week uh for eFootball twenty twenty four effectively. And you've got attacking midfielder Bellingham, which <laughs> listen, I think he should have been whole player. It would have really added to. Um, him having a better card, I think, but I do like the fact that he is he is pretty beastly on this with the stamina, the speed. Um, you have to kind of play him as a box to box, even though he's down as an attacking midfielder. I would definitely be playing him as a CMF just because of his stats, especially with that 88 aggression, one touch pass, sliding tackle, fighting spirit. Really, really, really solid card. I like the fact he also has soul control and double touch. That's always nice for your box to box. Um, you can't train these guys up, which means that you can't add skills onto him either. But he is on A rating. So if you do spin for him and you do get him, you're going to get an absolute machine. Bergwijn, as I said, A rating as well turns this card. This is the thing with um, this is the thing with cards that have standard form. I see a lot of people talking about inconsistent form and standard form. And I also see a lot of people talking about players that are just not good enough. But when the A rating is there, it gives a, a boost of plus two to pretty much every stat once you get them trained up right. And these cards are very, very, very solid, the player of the weeks, because obviously Konami take a look and they say, right, what works in the game? Let's boost that up, right? So for somebody like him who maybe not get into your squad, you've got 87 acceleration, 88, 88 dribbling, uh, 86 ball control and 94 balance. He's going to be a terror on the wings, lads, if he's got an A rating and he's got A form because he has got that live update A rating there as well as a prolific winger. And he also has soul control. He doesn't have double touch, which is a bit of a concern. He does have true passing and pinpoint crossing, but not early cross. So he's kind of a halfway house between, um, you know, a crossing and a dribble centric type winger, right? We have the same issue or, well, not issue, but we have the same kind of thing with Saka, right? Saka is all about pace, power and speed. But his passing is not as good as like a cross specialist because he is down as a prolific winger. He does have a long ranger, but he doesn't have pinpoint crossing. He does have one touch pass, double touch and soul control, uh, but he doesn't have um, pinpoint crossing or low, any passing stats apart from one touch pass. He does have unwavering form. I'm definitely going to try Saka this week um, and try him a little bit more than what I've had done in the past, right? But speed, acceleration, they're all going to get a boost, obviously. Acceleration, dribbling. And of course, we do have that curl and balance that are going to be in the high 80s to 90s as well. So I think that this is a big, a big win as well. Kunde, I mean, I don't need to introduce this man. This guy is one of the best center backs in the game. I think this card is slightly overshadowed by the fact that he does have blocker, interception, heading, way to pass, man marking, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, fighting spirit and sliding tackle, right? But I still think that his aggression on this card is a little bit too low, okay? He's down as a center back as part of a back three for Barca. His jump is 90, his heading is 83, they're all going to get boosted, but his defensive stats are a little bit lacking based on some of the other cards that you can train up, okay? Leno, you have your traditional goalkeeper, 89 goalkeeper reflexes, that'll get boosted over to 90. He's a big unit, but yeah, I mean, he's just a dime a dozen. This guy is quite interesting, right? I actually have played with him quite a bit on my Xbox profile, and he's a really good budget option to buy if you want to get your even your standard card. Doesn't have the world of um, player skills, right? But he does have pinpoint crossing. He's down as an offensive fullback, but he's got 81 tackling. Acceleration is solid. Stamina is solid. Dribbling is solid. Passing is solid. He's got one touch pass, double touch. And of course, true passing and pinpoint crossing with amazing run. I would have liked to have early cross on him as well as a play style, but he doesn't have it there. So that's a bit of a hit. And then we also move up to the top, right? So we've covered Bellingham. 
Next up, we're going to cover my one of my favorite right wingers in the game, right? So this guy, where Berge, Bergewijn is kind of a player that you can't really use him in a separate way, but I think for Doku, or Doku, I call him Count Dooku, right? Um, from Star Wars, but I do think that he is an absolute beast, right? He kind of reminds me of Eze. Now, there's been multiple versions of him throughout the year. Even his standard form is great. This guy's got standard, or his standard version is great. He's got double touch, flip flap, soul control, which means he's going to be able to do that double touch, the special double touch, level three double touch, um, which is insanely overpowered when the connection is there. You can literally rinse people with this, right? Scissors faint as well. He doesn't have one touch pass if you are going to be using him as a passer, and he's got no passing skills whatsoever, really, um, apart from, well, no, he doesn't have anything, actually. He doesn't have double touch or one touch pass, I should say. He doesn't have a crossing either, like pinpoint crossing. He doesn't have early cross or anything like that. But acceleration, balance, and speed are all going to be in the 90s. And this guy, while he's not, I would say, meta-meta, he definitely does handle a little bit different. He moves a little bit different on the pitch, right? We've also got our standard DMF. You know what you're getting here. Just a lot of physicality. Um, a fairly decent uh, player, but he has inconsistent form. Blocker, interception, area superiority, sliding tackle, and acrobatic clearance. But he also throws in man-marking and one touch pass which i do like he's a big unit as well very nice aggression very nice jump very nice low pass and heading pretty solid a pretty solid box to box dmf i think i prefer him as a, a dmf with anchorman um, but he can actually play cb as well so he wouldn't be a bad center back either you're just going to lose that box to box um but that doesn't really make a difference with how the play styles work um anyway but the box to box is a nice play style to have but i would have preferred this guy to be anchorman it's a bit of a strange one and then we round it off with vanderson isaac inform rodri and uh, we will go from there so this guy has got standard form as well fighting spirit double touch early crosser pretty standard right back I'm not going to spend too much time on him and then of course we have Isaac right I'm raging I didn't pick him in my fantasy Premier League he's been a favorite of mine in the Pez series for a while in Pez 2021 20, especially he was a beast very very solid player his stats don't scream to me they're a bit of a hit and miss but I do think that he will be better than he looks in game because of his goal poaching player ID some players that have this kind of height and this kind of like speed they do move a little bit differently, especially his balance. It's a pity that his balance isn't up around the 78 mark, the same way as it is maybe with his physical contact. That would have made him really, really powerful. Um, but it, he's not going to really replace any of your main guys up front. And last but not least, we do have Rodri. Now, listen, lads, I think Rodri's one of the best players in the Premier League. I think he's definitely an underrated gem in real world as well, in the real life football. Unwavering form, one touch pass, low left to pass, but then he's got area superiority, sliding tackle, interception, fighting spirit, and true passing, which I do love with one touch pass is brilliant. Rising shot as well with long range or long ball expert as his play style. And then, of course, we do have his pace and speed being a bit of an issue, right? That is the biggest concern with this card. But if you're playing him as a, a deep anchorman with deep line on and defensive on him, he is one of the best in the game. Trust me on that. He's an absolute demon with that aggression. He's got passing, he's got tight possession, and he's got kick and power stamina and physical contact. One thing that kind of lets him down, in my opinion, is his heading and his positioning in under high balls. But that's kind of more of an issue with the game rather than with Rodri. So that is it for your player of the weeks. I would say thumbs up. Bellingham, Rodri, I would also say Count Dooku, and this guy, S2 Pinyan, uh, as well, is a very solid player. Sack is always good, but the rest of the cards are kind of hit and miss, depending on how you play. Obviously, you can make them work for you, but there are better standard versions out there, or other versions out there. So, that is it for me. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.